Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Mr. Peaches and I are going to talk to you about our khaki camels and how we have transitioned the new baby ducks over into the large pen with the existing ducks, okay, the adult mating, producing it. The mamas and the daddies of this group, okay? So a lot of you out there have been asking about how we did it, how did it work. So I'm going to take you through the things that we have done. Um, there's a few more transitions that I'm doing with the duck area and we are currently working on that. So I'm going to go over that as well. But uh, Mr. Peaches, what you doing? What's going on? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's excited. So let's take you over to the duck pen and let's show you what we're talking about. All right, guys, I'm sitting back just a little bit on this part of the video because I really want you to see the ducks and what they do. If I get in there, du my ducks are sweethearts, but they get a little skittish and they're like, what is she doing? I want you to be able to see what they're doing and how they're behaving with each other. Okay, so I'm just sort of sitting back a little bit. Okay, so this video is how I have introduced my hatchlings, my ducklings, that I hatched myself inside the house. I've got a couple little videos on them when they've hatched recently and how they've grown up and them swimming and them having little field trips. Well, it's time to put him, them out here in the duck pen. Okay, they're just so big. So what I have done originally, if you haven't referred to any of my duck videos, let me show you right here. So I have an original duck pen. It's a uh, 10 by 10 dog kennel. 10 by 10, six feet tall. I have netting on the top to keep predators out, which leaves are on it right now. Um, but what I did is I knew I would be expanding at some point and I wanted them to have more space in their pen. So I added a second one on this side. So I have a door that goes in right here and then there's a door that goes right over there. So it's basically like having two kennels back to back is what it is, okay, with a door that allows you to go in and out of them, okay? What I have done is I brought the new babies out every day for several weeks. And I would put them over into the second pen right here. Do you see this over here? During the day, morning to dark, they would be over on this side while the original established flock is over here. And I would just shut the door, okay? They would have their own little water, um, um, a much smaller little pool over here and water and their feed but I would put it close to where the established ducks are so basically right along that middle section okay so basically what that does is it allows them to acclimate to each other they're literally right next to each other but because there was an entire separation for several weeks we've done that we did this I don't want to say exactly three weeks but probably so two to three strong weeks um, every single day we just brought them out here we put them on this side we kept the original the original birds on this side and you know it's just like they they don't know the difference they just can't get on top of each other or attack each other or hurt each other or not because there's a barrier you're gonna do the same thing with your chicks if you hatch out baby chicks you can't just throw them out there with the existing flock, guys. I mean, okay, yeah, you can, um, but a lot of times you have problems and you have to separate birds because somebody gets pecked, somebody gets attacked, something goes wrong. So you want to slowly introduce. Now, I am going to have a few modifications with this area. Uh, we just haven't gotten to it just yet. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add another duck house. What I've done for a duck house is the largest dog house that I could, that you can find, uh, that I found in my area. We, uh, you know, attached a really good door with hinges. We lock them up. Um, I, I'm adding another one to make sure that all of my ducks, my drakes and my hens have plenty of space, be it in the pen and be it at night when they're up. I also add straw, DE, um, food containers. Right now, today, they've got one little, they've got one food container. We give them two full scoops of food twice a day with uh, the appropriate feed and a few scraps and different things like that. I also let them come out here in free range, but only when I'm available to watch them. I'm very protective of my birds, as you know. So, this is how you do it. Slow intro, slow acclimation. I will give you a few hints about the ducks. If you can um, add in some nice tree limbs, they love pine tree limbs, they love Christmas trees. I put in a Christmas tree uh, you know, last year and it was a great success. I, one for the goats and one for these guys, okay? And um, they just love hanging out underneath it, you know? Now, khaki Campbells are not are land ducks, okay? They're not uh, in need of water 
like the others, okay? But they do get in there. They get in there and they'll preen a little bit. And you know, they do that little bit and splash around. You might see some mating um, nonetheless. And they drink and then they hop out. So as the weather continues to cool down, um, we are getting to the end of having a pool, okay? Pro this time last year, the pool was already pulled and I just kept several different buckets of water for them to basically dunk their heads and, and to get what they needed. And then if it got really cold, I would change it out several times. So I just wanna show you what this looks like. It is very easy to introduce animals. The hard part is doing it with patience. I think a lot of times our human instinct of, let's just, you just want it to go so perfect and, and you, you, we don't time it right. I'm guilty of that too. So you just have to gauge it. Now let me tell you, somebody's gonna ask, well, what if you intro them and I do what you said and then they start attacking each other? Well, that happens too. It didn't happen here. It hasn't happened a lot with my chickens, but once in a blue moon, you got a bully hen or a bully rooster. Um, and you got to pull the weak one and you got to make her work um, accordingly. Sometimes we just introduce too fast. Um, I've got an Americana um, hen in the barn that, for, I'm going to be honest with you guys, she just pretty much lives a solitary life in, the, in, the, in my uh, utility stall, okay? There's a couple of little hens in there that that's where they hang out now and it keeps them protected. So always know that you've got to have a plan A, plan B, and C because sometimes things just don't work out according to what you think, you know, how they're going to. And of course over here is my um, cream leg bars, um, olive eggers, and my um, chocolate Orpingtons and you can see them floating around. So, you know, they always have a little something to do with <laughs> these guys. All right, guys, I hope this video finds you well. Maybe I can get a little bit closer, but I wanted you to see they love the front. They love straw, 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 straw. All right. Lots of, lots of happiness with these ducks. I'm telling you, if you're new to homesteading and you're not sure what animals to go with, I am always going to tell you that Khaki Campbell's should be on the top of your list in terms of consideration. I have found them extremely easy. I have found them, I mean, once you get them an appropriate setup, I'm gonna tell you right now, I think they're easier than quail. I have found that quail, um, the females, uh, even the ratio, you have to have it just right. The feed, you gotta have it just right. Um, I have found that they can be more aggressive with each other. I have not had an aggression problem with these ducks. They lay fantastic eggs every single day. They handle rain wonderfully, cold weather wonderfully. Um, other than, you know, being a little messy in an area and you just have to keep up with it, I'm telling you, they're the bomb. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. I hope you can see them really well. They're such cuties. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit closer.